Hey guys, so this is gonna be a continuation of another video that addresses how to fix the OnePlus 7 battery drain after the Android 10 update. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. This video is gonna be covering another problem I've been having with the dead space under the keyboard. At first glance, it seems like a minor aesthetic annoyance, but it's actually a bigger issue than I originally thought because it's causing problems with how I interact with this phone. Say I'm going to Google and I need to type in a search phrase. At any point, if I touch the dead space, the keyboard goes away, but more importantly, what I was typing is now completely gone, forcing me to retype everything from scratch. The thing that sucks most about this is that the behavior isn't consistent across multiple apps. In some apps, nothing happens at all, while others close out the keyboard, and some will even exit out completely to the home screen. Now, I don't wanna deal with this mess at all anymore, so let's go in and fix this. Now, unfortunately, this fix does require the use of ADB. So if you're not familiar with this, you're definitely gonna have to work for it, especially if you don't have any sort of ADB environment set up. So before we begin, we're gonna need to prep the phone. First, activate the dev menu. You can do this by tapping the build number inside of about phone. Once the dev options are available, go to the menu and enable USB debug. Now we gotta jump on a PC. In my case, I'm gonna be using Windows 10 and for ADB and fastboot install, I'm gonna be using a one-click installer that I will link down below. Once it does its thing, plug your phone into the computer and authorize access if you need to, then open a command prompt and run the ADB devices command just to make sure that we see the phone and that we have access to the device. In this case, we do. So now let's issue the command that will fix a dead space. And this command is ADB shell WM overscan 000 minus 100, and that's it. Now, once you check your phone, you should see a full screen experience similar to how you had it in Android 9. Well, that's pretty much it for today. I really hope this video helped out with your battery life fix and this keyboard fix. Like, subscribe, it really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.